What's going on YouTube? Thought I'd make another video about the 2020 DSR. A couple other uh, thoughts. One, I absolutely love this trunk. Incredible what this thing can hold. Got my ball cap, a liter soda stream, uh, some snacks, uh, some plastic utensils. So I actually went through a drive-through uh, doing that keto thing so I ordered a double quarter pounder with cheese no bun no ketchup and they didn't give me any napkins or utensils so I had to roll that thing up like a taco and eat it <laughs> it worked but uh, extra batteries some baggies I, it's amazing what I can fit in there so I thought about maybe getting on the highway doing a little ride I haven't really been on the highway with this thing yet so I'm at 782 miles 91 percent I've been riding a while and my range is 167 miles that's not too bad I started off at a uh, 99 percent uh, I'm really really impressed with the range on this thing uh, I've been kind of taking it easy so I mean my range is going to be up there uh, some days I kind of give it the beans a little more than others and uh, I'm really impressed at how well the range is uh, being calculated by zero so well done zero uh, something I don't like is this plug for the for the wall outlet uh, I tend to really hug my bikes with my knees and my ankles and my feet and uh, my ankles sometimes will knock this thing out so I'm really worried about um, maybe in wet conditions or something where I'm uh, really hugging the bike and knock this thing out so I learned if I get that thing all all up in there good like uh, <laughs> It hasn't come out yet, so I've just been pushing it in there a little bit deeper, and uh, so far, so good. Uh, one of the things I really, really like about this bike is crafted in California. That is so awesome. That and the flag back here. Very cool. Nice touch. <sighs> what else? Uh, I've been playing with the custom mode a little bit. And uh, I'll just take a screenshot and stick it up here. On my way out here, I had this guy uh, hollering at me in traffic. We're at traffic light. He goes, is that an electric bike? And uh, I was like a car away from him. And uh, I kind of gave him a thumbs up, you know, and we started having a little conversation between uh, the traffic lights and whatnot. And uh, he said it was the first one he'd seen on the road. He asked me if it was quick, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty quick. <laughs> uh, he's asked me all kind of questions about it. He was very impressed with it, I think. It seemed like it. I didn't have the GoPro running. But it's kind of cool. I like those interactions. Uh, they're starting to happen more and more. I definitely get a, a lot of looks where people can't comprehend that a motorcycle is making hardly any noise. I really don't have a topic or anything to talk about just uh, how much I'm just digging this zero DSR the thing is a monster man it'll it'll get up and boogie it's 
what I really, really like about the custom mode is, man, I can make this thing, make this thing uh, handle the way I want. Engine braking and torque. So, seems like I'm in custom mode, and, I don't know, 99% of the time now. Uh, I definitely like that instant torque over uh, the eco mode. I just feel like it's a safer mode just being able to um, get out of sticky situations. So like right now I got it on uh, 0% regen. So like right now I'm just coasting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not uh, regening at all. And the brake regen to 100%. So as soon as I just tap the brakes, it's on. I can see where people are using uh, or not having to replace their brakes, brake pads. They're using 100% brake regen. So I still got that squealing gerbil on the back brakes. So I haven't done anything with it. I haven't used any brake cleaner or anything like that. I got the um, uh, first service coming up in a week or so. And they said it was okay if, uh, if I go over the 600 miles. It's mainly a, a I think he called it a motor tune-up. I think it's where they check the sink and the timing. I'm sure they'll do all the other normal checks. So every now and then I get a um, like a high pitch clicking noise and I can't really tell where it's coming from because I got a, a helmet on 100% I can't really tell the direction where it's coming from but I definitely hear it it's not loud could be the ABS uh, could be something in the motor or something else I thought of is if the motor timing is off I'm wondering if it's the lugs in the belt uh, kind of overlapping the teeth and the sprockets and kind of like clicking in with every tooth. Uh, on the rear sprocket there's like a little bit of white dust and I don't know if that's just normal wear from the belt or if it's actually kind of rubbing the front edge of the tooth of the belt between the belt and the sprocket. I don't know. I'm cruising around, I don't know, 65, 62. Now, I've never really opened this thing up on the highway to pass somebody. And I can't remember what I got the custom mode governed in. I think it's 
90 or 100. But I want to pass this guy. I want to give it the beans and see what uh, see what we got. Oh my gosh! No! Oh! <laughs> I get an instant torque at any range. Wow. How cool. Alright. <laughs> Never fail zero. Always a smile on my face. Yeah. Really? It's so quiet. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. Let's see that. I heard it. How do you like it? I love it. What kind of range do you get? Uh, about 160 plus miles. Depends on how you uh, bring it out. Yeah. I just ran up to Yellow Springs and back on the highway. I mean, it's nice. Is there any gear changing at all? All direct drive, right motor to the back wheel. It'll boogie. I assume you've ridden non-electric bikes before too. Yes, okay. all my life, yeah. Uh, this is no question unlike any other bike I've ridden. Just instant torque. That is cool. No, you know, no, no gears, no clutch. <laughs> they still give you the brake on the, right, on the foot though? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, a, this is storage, this is a trunk. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. So the, the brand is DSR? Zero. Oh, zero. Made in California. Okay. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, my trap out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you guys lined up here. I thought I'd stop. Actually, we try to do this once a, once a month. Uh, I've seen you guys up here before, but I've never stopped. This is called uh, British Biscuits and Tea. What is it called? British Biscuits and Tea. Uh, with all the triumphs, I get that. It's only British cars. Yeah. There's like over 400 different marks. Mm hmm. That are, that are eligible. Uh, we got a, a Facebook page. So if you do your deal. Yeah, okay. Go out there, you know, ask to join and I'll uh, write you in. And Give it a link. Yeah. Yeah, cool. See you. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. So which one is yours? Uh, the white one and the burgundy one. Very cool. Now the burgundy one, is that original or is that a kit? No, 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 that's, that's original. It's, it's, that's a TD, it's a 1950, and it is one of about 50 out of 30,000 that were exported right-hand drive to North America. Wow. It is, it is a little unique. Do you mind if I get a picture of the bike? That thing's cool. Yeah. Here, I'll... <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dude. Yeah. I like it. Speed wise, on paper it says 102, but you can change all the settings in a phone app and a slider will go up to 110. I've not had it that high. <laughs> Alright, guys, you have a great day. Nice cars. Very cool.